Speaking of New York, the hard luck New York Mets can now say they have the owner with the most money in the history of Major League Baseball. Billionaire Steve Cohen was officially named the new majority owner of the club earlier this month, and he's taken, taken quickly to his new role. You can find the notoriously reclusive hedge fund manager yucking it up with Mets fans on Twitter. Bloomberg's business of sports reporter Brandon Kochkoden joins us now to discuss more. So the fans call him Uncle Steve, and his bio actually includes a hashtag LGM for Let's Go Mets. I checked, he's got like 91,000 followers, Brandon. What exactly is his Twitter persona? Because he only has about nine tweets or eight tweets. Yeah, it, it's sort of the affable owner right now, and he's, you know, he's doing a good job engaging with everyone and engaging with everyone and you know, it's it's a little bit of tell me what you want out of the team and, and how can I fix things. And it's a little bit of kind of, you know, everyone's favorite boss. And we can see that by the things he's posting as well as uh, the actions he's taken so far with the Mets. I should clarify, he's only tweeted eight times generally, but he responds to people's direct tweets constantly. And he's accessible in a way that's a real contrast to his day job, uh, where he's kind of at this enigmatic, quiet, reclusive hedge fund manager who doesn't really engage with people. Uh, give us more, of, uh, more color into that contrast. Yeah, I mean, that's the funny thing here, is he was known you know, for the longest time as one of the most reclusive, secretive traders on Wall Street. There's a, a Business Week story from, geez, 20 years ago saying this, introducing people to Steve Cohen because no one knew who this guy was. And, you know, he's, he's tried to be this under-the-radar guy as much as he could be throughout his career. And now that he has this kind of prized possession, this, you know, boyhood dreams have filled, it's, it's a total turn in personality, and he's, he's absolutely having fun with it. He's having so much fun. He's like making puns on Twitter. He's also talking about Bobby Bonilla, a real sore point with True Blue Mets fans. And also, like you said, crowdsourcing fans to get ideas on how to make their experience better. Do we know if this is actually Steve Cohen tweeting? I mean, did he maybe farm this out to someone else? No, it's, I, I can say definitively it's absolutely Steve Cohen. Really? You talked to him or you talked to someone to, con to confirm? Yeah, a person familiar will say that. All right. Good reporting, Brandon. The hope, of course, among Mets fans is that he'll spend money on free agents because he is this billionaire and he'll do whatever it takes to put together a competitive team. Um, what indication is there that he will do just that? Because Mets fans always have that hope. Yeah, I mean, he said as much when when we had the news uh, last week about Robinson Cano being out next year because of testing positive for PEDs again. People asked him, you know, where's that money going to go, Steve? And Steve's outright he said this is going to go to players so he's given every indication that he's you know he's going to spend and he's going to run this team to be a winner and he's not going to run it the way some owners do which is you know as a business which mm -hmm. which sounds weird um but you know a lot of people do that and they run it for the bottom line and steve's given every indication that he's running it to win yeah, well, the Wilpons also spent a lot of money, but they didn't really field a great team most years. Um, Theo Epstein, who helped the Red Sox and the Cubs break their championship curses, also available for hire, although I think he's uh, under contract with the Cubs for the next year. Um, any word on where he might go to next, perhaps even the Mets? Well, I, I think the Mets are a long shot. They have Alderson in place, and, and I think Theo, this is, you know, this is just my guess, but m my my inclination is that Theo is going to go somewhere where he has absolute control and possibly where he can get an ownership stake, mm -hmm. something that I, I just don't think fits with the Mets right now. All right. Brandon Kochkoden, who, by the way, is not a Mets fan. He is a Phillies fan. Renita, what, you follow the Cubs or the White Sox? Uh, so for four years of my life, I was a Cubs fan. But four I'm, years I'm at a, I'm, I'm a Southsider. I'm, wow. a, I'm a Sox fan. So I can't, I can't trade the home home, home team. <laughs>